Stay up! It's you! Lovely to see you again! Thanks for coming to this. Yet another tiny wee history lesson brought to you by the letter L, the word Ancient Swan, and the colossal order game Cities Skylines 2, without which I'd probably have to find a different hobby, and my wife would be even less impressed. And so what do we have today? As per literally always, we are discovering the history of another one of this planet's great lost cities. Today we are in Guatemala at El Mirador. El Mirador, meaning the lookout or the viewpoint, located in the northern reaches of the Guatemalan jungle, is a fascinating and significant archaeological site of the ancient Maya civilization. Flourishing during the pre-classic period, from 600 BC to 100 AD, El Mirador was once a thriving city boasting impressive structures and advanced agricultural practices. El Mirador wasn't just a city, it was a civilization's flex. They had Ladanta, a pyramid so massive it would make the pharaohs blush. It's like the ancient Maya saying, hey, look what we can do without your fancy cranes and tech. No aliens required. Ladanta, which stands at an impressive 70 meters high, is to this day one of the largest pyramids in the world and is a testament to the engineering prowess of the ancient Maya. As well as containing the largest pyramid, El Mirador was also one of the Mayan civilization's largest cities. Now, I'd like to take a moment here, because I feel like it, to remind you that if you are one of these people who thinks, oh, there are pyramid buildings in this part of the world, and pyramid-shaped buildings in Egypt too, so that means these civilizations must have been in contact, or even funnier, that they were built by aliens, then you are an idiot. Please, turn off your computer and go back to school. Do not come home until you've learned how pyramids work. Also, if you have children, give them Lego to play with. This will ensure they also grow up knowing how pyramids work instead of growing up an idiot like their father. Okay? Good. Now back to El Mirador. This city's success was remarkable given its remote location deep within the jungle. The inhabitants ingeniously utilized the mud from the seasonal swamps by the thousands of tons. The people here carved terraces into the hillsides and then covered these terraces with the new mud they had brought in. By adding lime to the soil, they elevated the pH, making it suitable for a variety of crops – corn, squash, beans, cacao, cotton and palm. When the ground was depleted of nutrients, adding another layer of mud reinvigorated the fields and the cycle of agriculture and growth continued. Despite its grandeur, El Mirador was abandoned around 100 AD for several generations, likely due to a combination of environmental changes, resource depletion and possibly social upheaval. However, the people returned to El Mirador several centuries later and the ancient city saw centuries more construction and inhabitation until being abandoned again for the final time around the end of the 9th century AD. Even the mightiest of civilizations can't escape the chaos of life. Over time, the once thriving city was reclaimed by the jungle and it remained hidden until modern archaeologists rediscovered it. Fast forward to today, and El Mirador is an archaeologist's playground. The discoveries made here continue to shed light on the complex society and advanced culture of the ancient Maya. The site serves as a reminder of the ingenuity and resilience of this remarkable civilization. This map was made by combining archaeological dig maps like this one. With real-world satellite height maps of the area, I did it because I love doing this stuff. It's why I get up in the morning and thinking about it is what keeps me awake at night. Well, that and eternal screaming into the void that generally accompanies me wherever I go. Speaking of eternally screaming into the void, my wife is screaming at me right now to remind you to remember not to forget to like and subscribe. If you don't do that, then she says she will continue shrinking all my clothes. She's been doing it for months now to try and convince me I'm getting fat. I'm not getting fatter though, it's just she's been shrinking my clothes and I'm really not bloody happy about it, so please help. Now there is this little thing I like to call map information and I'm going to read it to you right now because I'm a gentleman and not a screaming banshee like the woman I married. Here it goes. Buildable area, 93%. Outside connections, Road, rail, sea, air, power. 
Natural resources, wheat 91.3 square kilometers, forest 385 kilotons, ore 84.9 kilotons, oil 67.8 kilotons. Terrain, lots of flat areas, but also lots of small hills. And we're done once again. That was the ancient Maya city, El Mirador, and this is what it looks like when the video ends. Thanks for watching, and don't forget I love it when you return. It keeps the blood coursing through my veins. I'm out like a Brussels sprout. Peace, love, and El Mirador. See you next time. Cheerio.